Hello everyone and welcome to one of the biggest projects unboxing and build the PC setup well as you can see this is the case the NZ XT 700i it's a mid tower that supports liquid cooling though I will not have liquid cooling installed right now but it's worth it if some of you are interested as you already see in the house door the finished build and setup and if not you can find the video on the top right corner but if you've seen it so for those of you who have seen it you'll get to see how the pc was built and how the whole setup was built and what components you'll be needing in 2020 so let's get started Initially you will need that Phillips 65 screwdriver because those things are really tightened. Alright, let me show you how it looks on the inside. So yep, that's one. I guess how does it go there and there are three fans on top yep. four USB 3.0 headphone jack and yeah and that's for the light and everything we get to that but yeah that's a perfect cable management need setup looking box you will say or tower now let's start building let's get all the components starting with the motherboard obviously the motherboard is gonna be the asus tough gaming x570 plus and that's i guess not really high-end but a high-end motherboard and all the components that you need are inside in the case that I show you where you find but yeah that's the motherboard and as always some promotional products some marketing information that's the back end where ports to be attached and cables stickers because you know Everybody needs that. And the manual to use right, you don't need that. And the certificate of reliability. Come on, cable mods. If you need cable mods. And of course, whatever CDs of the driver. One, two, three, four, five, six USB 3 slots, one HDMI, one USB C, and the headphone, and also the upgrade headphone version. Yep, let's get this keyboard, oh, sorry, motherboard setup in place. So, if you're looking for any screws and cables and anything, they are not in the box but they are inside the case which so, I'll show you right now if ever you don't find motherboard parts all you have to do is wait a second open this and and there it is <clears throat> that's where everything that. is those are 
some wires that we will look into it later. Right now, we don't care about this. We got that. Five, six, seven, eight. Am I six? Let's see. Now, start by removing. Mr. Power, come here. Let me get. I got the Oh, this is I'm gonna finish this and then I'm gonna come back when all this madness is over. That's what the jungle of wire looks like. That's the ADX pin. Peripherals and SATA. We can have basically one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, nine, yeah, nine soda, and then that's just extras of that. Two CPU connectors goes in here, and four PCIe. Right. Pro tip: before installing the motherboard, please install this. Snap. Snap. And we're good to go. Time to get this baby open. HDMI, two display port, actually three display port and one USB C port.
Right. Let's get some of this. Ryzen 7, 3700X. It works out fine. And that's our CPU. Now for the CPU fan. These two hooks, and that's where that fits in. What are these two wires? And we have what are those wires? Ah, so I don't know if you can see or not, but these two wires go in here. I don't know what that is, but I will read and find out. Let's put them there for now. Let's get this. All right, so. Let's connect these two small pins. So one is for USB. That's RGB. The, the smaller ones that go. Where is that? In here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But you cannot see that. Alright. Let's connect that first. are 32 GB Connect 
it and then re back. This is the long and hard process of connecting all the cables and everything getting set up the RGB lights and the CPU and those new lights but that'll be all thank you for watching until next time take care all right everyone this is this complete setup I just wanted to show you guys that. I hope you loved it.